woman who helps run a very big business. The WWE was in town today to listen to the concerns of small business owners. Paula Tutman was there as the head of President Trump's Small Business Administration heard what local entrepreneurs really want. I think any of us who spend any time at all in Detroit can walk around and see the difference. But here's the important thing that's going on right now. The White House, Washington, D.C., sending a cabinet member here to take a look to see for herself. A roundtable listening tour with the head of the nation's Small Business Administration, Administrator Linda McMahon, better known for WrestleMania and as a billionaire wrestling mogul of world wrestling entertainment fame. When the president called me, uh, when he was the president-elect, he said, look, I, I want somebody in this job that knows what it's like to build the business. She was brought to Detroit with a partnership between the SBA, Michigan District Office, and Great Lakes Women's Business Council. Today, McMahon gets a close-up look at how women are fueling Detroit's comeback. We went from six employees to 15 employees. It's extremely important to have partnerships, to have large firms, team with small businesses, and have mentor for the Jane relationships. The meeting place, Avalon International Breads, not only a true American success story, but an epic Detroit success story. The original location on Cass Avenue opened in 1997. It's still open, still serving. The company has grown from four employees to 200 and multiple locations, including this sprawling cafe on the shiny new section of Woodward Avenue. CEO Jackie Victor had some very specific messages she once sent back to Washington. And one of the things that's always been important for us for our employees is health care. And so um, I wanted to get the message across that we are supportive of a government program that encourages and supports health care for all people. And so that is a little different than what this administration is pushing. 99% of uh, American businesses are small businesses. We create two-thirds of new jobs. So it's really important that the administration sees what small businesses do, what they contribute to the uh, U.S. economy. Uh, in fact, it was Jackie, the owner of this shop, who's talking about how difficult it is to get a skilled and trained workforce. And I'm hearing that all over the country. It's also important that Washington gets a more accurate picture of Detroit. Check that one off the list. You know, it's very easy not to have been in Detroit for, I can't even remember how many years. To think about downtown Detroit as kind of a, a place that's inactive, that not a whole lot is going on. You know, that's what you thought. That's, that's what you thought. This is sort of the vision or the image you might have. So when I came, and saw this incredibly vital city. In many ways, what's happening in Detroit right now can be positioned and leveraged in other down on your luck. Pull yourself up by the bootstrap urban centers around the country as a template for success. Stay tuned. That part of the story is coming up at six, guys.